Good morning, Hornet. I'm Chloe along with Zoe and Maria with today's morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, October 9th, and on this day in 1949, Harvard Law School begins admitting women. Feminism. <laughs> Mr. Settembre has announced round two of parking stickers. Here are the times to meet him this week. Thursday spaces are 1 through 86, 1115 to 1130, and 1245 and 1 o'clock. Friday spaces are 87 through 141, 1115 to 1130, and 1245 oh. to 1 o'clock. Times correspond to the back end of periods 4 and 6 and front ends of periods 5 and 7. Attention seniors and all hungry students, staff, and faculty. Eat at, pizza, eat at California Pizza Kitchen on Wednesdays in October and 20% of your check will benefit the class of 2019. If you can't make it this Wednesday, plan for any Wednesday in October. Take a flyer with you or mention this promotion so the class receives the bonus. Thank you from the class of 2019. The cross country team is having a pancake breakfast fundraiser at Applebee's Saturday, Sunday, October 20th from 8 to 10. Please come out for a great breakfast and a great cause. Attention mentors, the October training for mentoring will take place on today during your lunch periods in Campbell Hall, which is guidance. Please report directly to the training prior to going to lunch. Mentoring week will take place starting Monday, October 15th through the 19th of 2018. The Writing Lab is still accepting potential tutor applications. This is a great opportunity to become a peer tutor and receive activity points or leadership credit. If you are interested in becoming a writing tutor this year, please see Mrs. Mealy in room 202 or Ms. Peters in room 229 for application information. Please submit completed applications ASAP. From the Guidance Office, PSAT will be held tomorrow for grades 9 to 11 and some seniors. Rosters have been posted on the PV website and outside the Guidance Office. Most students will be testing in their homerooms. Please check the rosters. Testing will begin promptly at 8.04 a.m. Students testing should bring number two pencils, no mechanical pencils, approved calculator, snacks, and water. It is a half day and there will be a bagged lunch option for purchase after school in the cafeteria. Any questions, please see your school counselor. Attention teachers and coaches. As a result of the testing, there'll be no Good Morning Horn tomorrow, so don't miss me too much. So any announcements you have will be need to be made Thursday. Well, guys, this is finally it. The last day we'll be talking about the donuts. Good. Aww. Tomorrow <laughs> the orders are due, and there are no announcements tomorrow. Donut! <laughs> I hope you all ordered your donuts from Mr. Delusia. If you haven't, order them today. <laughs> the Environmental Club will have an important meeting today in room 108. Oh all members and anyone who wants to be a member, please attend. Weather permitting, we will be working in the garden, so dress accordingly. As you know, there is now a Pacific Valley Twitter page made just for the student body. When you can, file the PV swarm to receive updates and edits about student life. Anyone involved in sports should DM the PV swarm Twitter page with scheduled games if you want them to be announced. Now let's go to Zoe with sports. A lot of sports this weekend. Varsity football fell 45 to 12 to Wayne Hills, but freshman football beat Wayne Hills Saturday morning. Girls Volleyball beat Lakeland in the county tournament and now advance to play Wayne Valley today at 4 p.m. on the road. Girls Soccer beat Cedar Grove in the fourth annual Breast Cancer Awareness Game 3-2, bringing their season record to 7-4. Two goals scored by junior Zuanya Victoria and one by freshman Ariana Flores Ortiz. Senior goalie Brittany Bove played a great game with a huge save on a penalty kick with three minutes left to go in the game. Congratulations, girls, and a big thank you to everyone that participated in Saturday's event. Boys Soccer picked up two wins in the county tournament. Friday, the boys beat JFK Patterson and advanced to the quarterfinals where they upset Hawthorne Christian 5-1. The boys are now in the semifinals on Saturday versus PCTI. Chloe, give me a hand here and please read the cross-country results. The cross-country team had a very successful meet on Saturday at Darlington Park. Chris Sharana got a varsity medal, finishing 12th with a massive personal record. The JV boys team got third place comprised of, please bear with me, Alex Falduti, Joe Dixon, Mauricio Manaya, Edward Bennett, Matthew Stefanelli, Zach Abdel Salam, Dylan Calderon, Alberto Leone. The sophomore boys team placed third, comprised of Colby Salido, Justin Castaneda, Vinny Marchese, Akram Lechkov, Lech Thomas LaJoy, Joe Calderon, Akram, oh, Akram Lechkov placed sixth overall in the large town to JV Field. It was a great weekend to be a cross country hornet. Today, field hockey is away at Ramsey. Gymnastics is home against Indian Hills, and boys soccer is away against Passaic. Now to Maria with the weather. Thanks, Chloe. Sunny today with the high of 76 and a low of 67. Excuse your mouth. Excuse your mouth. No, 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 no. Hurricane Michael hits Tallahassee, Florida tomorrow. That's the buzz. Have a great day, Hornet. <laughs>